With Snipped, one of the great things is I can sort through all of the podcasts I subscribe to, which is a lot, as you can see from this huge list. And I can go in and listen to something and then do a number of different things. I can choose to listen to an episode that I want to listen to. Let's say I want to listen to this particular episode about whether creators have to go full time. And now Snipped actually shows me all the chapters in that podcast, even if it hasn't been added by the creator, it's automatically using AI to determine the section. So I can go in and just listen to a particular <laughs> section <laughs> of the <laughs> podcast I, I want to, or I can go in and listen to snips that I've made, which are little highlights like this one I made. I'm making five or almost six times more money per year now as a full-time creator than I was making in my full-time job where I was making 50, 60,000 a year. I can see I love takeaways that, well, because of my day from job, the episode my that have been summarized right? um, so in, be in this particular section. Looks for you, whether you're spending like two hours a week or 20. Um, which is generated Welcome by to AI. Cre I can edit this clip. I can then share it as a link or even as a video. I'm making five or almost six times more money per year now as a full-time creator than I was. So I can share that as a video to a social app or save it to my phone for use later. When I'm listening it's to the episode, that's okay. But I can listen at whatever speed I want. I can make clips however hey, I want to. I or if I that. pull it up full screen, I can <laughs> Definitely. just create a new snip by just clicking the create snip button. And it automatically will save that so I can share it. It automatically will also sync with my Notion database and my Readwise database. So if I want to look at all the clips I've made all together, I can find them there. Or I can just look at the ones I've saved here. So I've saved 101 snips across all these different shows. And I can go in and look at those things that I've saved and return to them, review them, share them with someone, think about them again. I can also find clips that have been recommended to me by the AI and by the algorithm based on my interests and the shows that I listen to. And this is a nice way to discover new episodes or new sections of podcasts or new podcasts. And you can go in and just listen to yeah, this is a actually something, like, small of clip of something week, to see if it we interests have now you, started if it does, doing in our, in listen to the whole episode. I, I can also see highlights just from things I'm already subscribed to. So I might've missed certain episodes and I can see just highlights from things I've subscribed to. I can adjust settings so that I can snip with my headphones in whatever way I want so that it syncs in the way that I want. I can go back and subscribe to new podcasts and find new things. There's a lot I can do. I can import my podcast from other players. So there's pretty much every feature I want. I do think at times it can be a bit confusing the interface in terms of finding the right buttons. For example, this playlist creation button is a bit hidden right now, but the app is continually getting better and better, easier to use, more powerful and more useful. So I highly recommend it. I'm using it every day now to listen to podcasts during my commute. And I am really happy to recommend it to anyone who likes saving moments or remembering things that you listen to.